Hey, me see some crazy stuff that me I tell you in my 19 years in Jamaica. Me never see them something there yet. The foreign, me go and see them something there foreign. For him. Today we are going to be talking about, uh, I'm going to be talking about my experience working at the, a grocery store. Um, so that was my job, that was my main job, my first job last summer. So in today's video I'll just be sharing my experience working at a grocery store in America. So if you're going on work and travel this year or whenever you go on work and travel. So if you're going on work and travel and you just want to hear how this experience was maybe you choose a job at a grocery store or you work as a cashier or anything like that but anyways welcome 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 and we hope me tell this story well hope me share this experience properly but anyways um and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and okay let me begin all right so my experience working at a grocery store in america so I my I chose a grocery store. I mean, I don't call the name, but yeah, I chose a grocery store for my main job last year. Anyways, um, so I worked as a cashier. My brother worked um in produce, so basically packing out the fruits, um, cutting melon, um, what else them do? Pack out fruits, cut melon, basically restock the lettuce and them stop me there, basically. That's what he did. Um in my in my grocery store there was a deli. So there was one Jamaican girl at the deli. Then you had the bakery, one other Jamaican girl was at the bakery. Um then you have the freezer or slash dairy, which a Jamaican guy was at. So basically these were the people I was there with last summer and then another Jamaican girl worked at the cashier with me because that was my job as well. So, okay, so we get that out of the way. So, this is basically some examples of, like, some jobs that you um, would get placed in at a grocery store, depending on how big the grocery store is and stuff like that. But these are different positions within the grocery store that you are more likely um, to be placed in. So, cashier, um, in the deli, in the bakery, um the dairy may I left one on dairy bakery deli cashier yeah but those are just the main ones produce yes nearly what produce yes so me personally me can't tell you how the job was for the other people them in their positions personally but me can't tell you what me didn't know about them so basically me go share what they said about their jobs first and then me go share my experience with working at the cashier by the way, just to note, my manager, the entire the entire grocery store that I worked at last summer, really great people, really nice people, really supportive people, patient people. Because when I tell you, when we got here last year, I may not even know the money. I may not even know the money. Hey, you could, I could not tell a quarter from a nickel. I could not tell a quarter from a nickel and then... But it's supposed to go there and be cashier. So it's, it's really funny. It's really funny. But they were patient and they helped me learn the money and everything. So good people. That means I put that out there before we even start to talk about anything else. Really great store. Really good people. Co-workers are great. Yeah. Alright, so um, where should I start? Alright, let's start at Produce. So my brother worked at Produce. Um, Based on what I know, he mainly... He mainly cut melon, cut melon and pack out the berries and, and um, orange and something. That's basically what he does for the most part. Um, Sometimes pack out grape, them something there, banana, them something there. That's mainly what he does. Like, there's no more to it, but there's not more to it. Because I'm always talk about how um, sometimes he might cut melon or sometimes he might pack out grape and... That's really his job, right? And we all worked eight hour shifts. So basically forty hours per week for the most part. Yeah, so that's produce. Um let me get to the bakery. So fun fact. The girl, the Jamaican girl that was working at the bakery, all this time when you hear bakery, you expect baking 
to be taking place. The girl said they've never been nothing. Everything or most majority of things come in pre-made. That means like pre-made. So one in a bakery I do then like what can I work the round here if everything already does come in mech from wherever. So basically what she said was that she packed up bread, she packed up bread. Um so basically you had the regular grocery bread like the Sarah Lee bread and them something there. But then you had those bakery bakery breads like this sugar coated bread and you know I me mean? them kind of sweet sweet bread there they had to pack out those um like rolls and them something there yeah like things like that they had to pack out from the bakery and i guess maybe put out cakes and things like that I me mean, assume but for the most part it's really packing out and things like that and i guess cleaning up i don't know what my clean up say but some cleaning up take place i don't know what they really do as i'm saying but it's a sheer what me kind of hear say happen in a these different apartments. So some cleaning up and packing out for the most part is what them do. Alright, now freezer. Pack out milk, pack out yogurt and them something. That's for the most part. And I think dairy is probably the most laid back. Dairy and maybe produce. Well, I mean, I was say produce. I mean, I say dairy. Because all I have really do is pack out the stuff them and then you kind of done. Based on what I heard... Based on what me her ear say, I know say that's what I mean. So maybe working in dairy is probably the most laid back position in the grocery store because you know this in a freezing the way I do you don't like that's it. But yeah. Alright, so moving back, let's do that and come back to me working as a cashier. So when I first went there, one I was shy. We did very shy, like me very shy. Me just quiet. Me never know if you talk to people. It's like me me culture shock. Me just don't know what me did. Like me literally looking back now. Remember the first day me start work. I me just really quiet. Me just really quiet. Me just shy. Me don't know if you go around people because me said this is this is weird. Like these people are strangers and we go work with these strangers. I'm no different country and them them talk them them pretty up language and me say. Why and then pants up and never know the money. So I end up never did know the money. As I said before, me can't tell a quarter for my nickel. I one time a man say a penny. They say what is a penny? But I feel like me should have know the penny. Me should have know the penny. But it's like me I said so. Right, so what I was expecting was that um obviously the, the paper money, like the twenty dollar, the ten dollar, five dollar and hundred dollar, fifty dollar those you can easily see them you know what say you know what say is a hundred dollar you know what say is a dollar like easy money right but for the coins you know when i draw me a car me can't find one coin right now but basically the big old ten dollar the penny the big old five dollar the penny i mean I expect the money if you have the big old five more five dollar five cents or ten cents or or twenty five cents no so my god yeah i think one man does something about penny i mean i me say me can't use can fusion lick me? Can fusion lick me? Like, we don't know what I go on. It's like, what's that penny? I have, I have no idea what that penny was. So, anyways, I tell them support supportive, but them help me, them help me, them help me, them help me, them help me. Because, I tell you, them help me. Like, my supervisors, them, them really supportive, really helpful, them help me learn the money. And, me I tell you, I was making a fool of myself until I learn, man, I learn. But that was the biggest obstacle, earning the money. And I think with it, the first day in my work, the draw was short. Like, the first day the draw was short. Because I imagine I really know the money, you know. So, I can expect, say, the draw was short. I think it was like, maybe by five cents or something. I could have caught the money. Hey, my money give me a bag of silver. Oh, God, man, I can't count the money. I don't know what I can say. I don't know if I look funny. And it's like, all right. In a realistic setting, when line a bill up behind the person, you there's no way you have time for you to pick up each and all. And you get me saying and examine it. Because we you look on it and I say, dime, dime, penny, 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 dime. And you get me say? So, it's like, I say, Jesus, what going happen? What is going to happen? Because me don't know the money. This is, this is basically a problem right now, problem. But me, me say them did really supportive, really helpful. But that was the biggest obstacle, learning the money in the beginning. The next thing that hit me was culture shock because working at the cashier, you don't understand how you have to interact with people from different cultures, from different states, from different backgrounds, what are Americans. 
right? So they are Americans, but them come from different backgrounds. Them have different religious beliefs. Them have different um beliefs about sexuality. Like you don't even understand. Like hey, we see some crazy stuff that may I tell you in my nineteen years in Jamaica. We never see them something they yet a foreign make. We can see them something they foreign for him. Because it's it's really like maybe there's sometime I'm gonna take a step back and say, Okay, this is really happening in front of me. Something like this, you can't do a Jamaica, you know, but this is really happening in front of me. This is not my country. What can I do about this? Like what if you do? Like one thing we did I try to do is let me say some weird business happen, like literally two people come and I mean, I tell you say some weird some weird business that take place in front of me. And all um, I do me try not to make eye contact. I try not to make eye contact with them because I know all my mouth stay and I know some sometimes I really and truly cannot control my facial sometimes I really and truly cannot control like my facial expression. This is something that I realize about me. So I feel well my face, I feel think about something else because it will show on my face. I mean there's a term to be professional, but may I tell you, my good year go see some like America is definitely a laid back country compared to Jamaica. As I say, more things are accepted over there than out here. So working at a grocery store, I go meet people from all walks of life. They meet people from um Michigan, from Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. Hey, that's a big like a good month a good amount of them come from Illinois. I don't know what about Wisconsin and Illinois, but them love each other. They hey, love so. each other. Well, Illinois love in coming to Wisconsin, but the Wisconsin people them don't like them. But them always are coming there because apparently they're allowed. So that's one thing I've realized that there is some beef between Illinois and Wisconsin. But the Illinois people them love go to Wisconsin. But Wisconsin people don't like them. So me it's like, oh well. Like remember when they were there, somebody say, Oh, they're from Illinois. I'm like, God almighty. You hear you look how them look you know what I'm saying? But yes, yeah, so working as a cashier, you see a lot in the grocery store. Like me, I tell you, if you put a camera down in that grocery store, if you put on a camera, I make it play is a whole reality TV show, well entertained, everything, yeah, everything, a hey, full blown entertainment on TV, full blown entertainment. Me come here to listen. Sometimes it's like a movie, maybe they are watch. Sometimes it's some things, and my brain cannot even process what I'm seeing. Like it don't make no sense. Like as me I say, that's it's weird. But I'm really grateful for the opportunity to meet new people. That's one thing. I meet enough new people. If you talk to people from different races, from different cultures, we meet some other J1 students who were from Israel, meet from Turkey, from Mexico. Mexi hey, the Mexicans are high up there, you know? The Mexicans are high. Um, we also meet, meet so many different people from Belize. And fun fact, I did hear one Belize guy talk. I'm going to say it was a Jamaican. Based by what I say, him sound just like we, except them don't like, you know what I say? Me no want that. They don't use the word me. Like how we use it. But them, them accents sound so close to Jamaican accents. So it's like the boy talk something. Like, like the boy would I say, I see that. And me look. <laughs> and me say, wait, they are Jamaican. And him say, no, you come from Belize. And then when he start talk more than me pick up, say, what other accents. Some in words, them a bit different from what more I say as Jamaican. And me say, all right. Okay, but it was just really fun meeting them and all that stuff. But that's really my experience working in America. Like, never know the money, learn the money, the draw the chart. It can be stressful, especially when people don't understand it. That's one thing that it I get to me at one point. Where me I speak and them not understand me. Because the truth is that what me I learn is that the Jamaican accent is very heavy for where most are a good amount of Americans, especially if they're not exposed. Then the American accent is very, then the Jamaican accent is very strong for them. So I've been, there there sometimes I'm here talk to people and people not understand. People, them hear words, but the accent so strong over it, them not, them not picking up what me and Jack is saying. Them not picking it up, like, and so it make me get stressed out because you don't understand me, me not understand. Well, me understand you, of course, but you don't understand me. And, you know, one of the biggest things that me basically always try and, like, Example I'm give is 20 Like for example, the total is $27.50 
may have to say the total is 20 27 dollars and 50 cents so it's like if you pretty it up you get me i said like what i realize is that when my pretty it up and pronounce the words like them it, it makes things harder for them and when they're happy it makes me happy but when they're upset it means i make upset so so it's like so it's that okay the total is $21.50 or the total is $27.50. But that's so cheesy to me. Every time I put on a little customer service voice there, it's like me as a god. But me have to do it sometimes and especially automatic. In Jamaica, it's called automatic. Automatic. Like me, I tell you, so you have to pronounce it like them because if you don't, you're going to be having a conversation that's just... It's like a little rush of... What do you mean, what do you mean by Russia? Not that. It's like it's a back and forth thing about who is pronouncing it correctly. So it's just like they say it like them. Like to be honest, you're in their country, just just follow, just change, just adapt so so you can fit in, so you can just get a, get along on a daily basis. So that was me. In the in the beginning I was very resistant to adapting, to changing. But then I realized if me don't change, these people are gonna drive me crazy. So we did have to change, we have to say, all right, from now on, we're going to twang for them because right now, my blood pressure is not going to be raised for nothing. So we just start twang, and we just start talking to them, and we just start to say, hi, hi, and we say, how are you? I we say, hi, how are you? And then we just start scan, we give them them chain, we try, sometimes we say the total, sometimes we don't, because it's like, unless we're in the mood for do the customer service voice, we are not going to say it, we just go, Say it and then look up them to the total themselves. Or I'm gonna say, okay, the total, uh, it's been a while, but <clears throat> okay, the total is $21.50. And then I say, thank you. And then I am from Jamaica. Like, like the biggest thing for me was trying to suppress my accent because you know, even though we speak English, some according to them, the accent is so strong, it just sounds so different, and so. Not gonna lie, like a part of being a cashier, like fifty percent of the job for me was not actually just working and scanning things and lifting things up because me tell them I lift fifty pounds. Like when I buy them heavy liquor and I have to lift them liquor there, that is it. So definitely one, me come back to make a stronger because me lift all of that stuff. Um two, half of the job was really me suppressing my jamaican accent so that they can understand me because me actually honest truth i have said words or i have said sentences and people literally correct me like like one man asked me where i'm from and i said i'm from jamaica and i'm from jamaica and the man literally let me tell him that and he might correct me and like he might say she's from jamaica and like me i said boy you are correct me you are telling me she's Jama jamaica and me actually say jamaica same thing but either way it's definitely patience is a must have patience um be open-minded that's you have to be while you're cool and towards your prayer before you got to store every day because you don't know who you are going to buck up in at that day like my worst experience at the grocery store was when somebody yelled at me she yelled at me fling her groceries them back on the bell and then what she do she made a figure call my supervisor like Yes, you know that day when it happened, me did get cross because you know when you're upset, you're not gonna feel like you speak English or pretty tough. And Pantapite, I know better because you see when somebody upset, they're not upset at you, quote unquote. They're not want to hear nothing you say. So I keep my mouth shut because me know I said me open my mouth. If me open my mouth, it's not English I go come out for you. But you know that. So I never English I go come out. I straight pop on me that leg up for that lady day. Wait a minute, I'm going to call it, 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 I'm going to say, she down there and she had to a fit, go talk to her, I'm going to make somebody who is like her talk to her, because I don't want to hear her say this black girl, this and this black girl, that's me, keep my mouth shut, I'm going to call the supervisor, and I'm going to shut my mouth, that's the one thing, when it comes to angry customers, me not argue with them, me not try to find a solution for nothing, Fun fact, hey, listen to me. Them no one here, not me. I say, them not here, and especially given the type of territory like that I was in, hell no, them not here. More I say, so me just shut my mouth and I walk and I get the supervisor and I come back. 
me not argue with nobody because me start arguing is not English. You got to she had chat some different language and whatever, whatever. Because genuinely, they don't understand part why like, I think me and um, one of the other Jamaican guys them that talk one time like one man did it and he make cash something. Come at the same man they no ask me if we have weed at Jamaica. He said no. Anyways, it no not if we have weed at Jamaica. I smoke weed. I said no. And me say me no 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 weed, but yes weed at Jamaica. Something like that. And anyways, me that talk to the other Jamaican guy like quick like him just a pass and him say something to me and me answer him. And he's like the man say you guys speak Spanish in Jamaica. And he's like no we don't speak Spanish. It's not Spanish we are talk. But it sounds like Spanish to them. And each day, they just basically confirm it to me more that they do not understand the part. What, like, at this point, they cannot say anything about them and them not pick up on what I want. And it has whole to the part why is broken English. But yes, um, I loved meeting new people. It was bittersweet because sometimes you meet some people when I radiate, some people crazy. That's one aspect. Um, we would get paid like every two weeks. Um, most of my co-workers were good. I was treated well. I was not abused. I was not, I was not, yeah. I was treated well by, by other co-workers, by the manager, my supervisors, my other manager. Like, everybody treated me so good. Everybody was so kind. Everybody was so welcoming. Um, as it relates to co-workers, so that was good. Because good for you know, at least enough, yeah, in a, with no co-worker. You get me saying? But, yes, the customers... I can't say the same. Some of them were really nice, really great people. Some weren't so nice. Some have issues. Some crazy. Some, I don't know what one of them like. By the way, that is the end of um. Anyway, so that is the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're new, or, or actually not if you're new to my channel, if you have any other, t if you have any comments, comment them down below. Yeah. So if you have any questions, comment them down below. But just like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's the end of today's video. And bye, guys.